so you know it's coming. Um, the way this game ended last year, obviously it's a rivalry game. The way it ended just on the court, but the way they celebrated afterwards, how much of that gets mentioned by the returning players and in that locker room? Uh, not at all. It doesn't get mentioned at all because, um, you know, one, they have a brand new team this year. So the players that did what they did last year, most of them aren't there. And then obviously we, we want to come in. This is this is this is still a um, you know a game that we want to just focus on what we can control, and that's you know what we are working on in practice and um, the game plan. And we're just focusing on the game plan. We're not worried about the you know all the you know the ruha and you know we get us a rivalry, but we're gonna come in and handle our business. So if you were gonna sell t tickets, like if because it sounds like it's gonna get close to sell out here, if not a sell out, mm -hmm. what would you tell fans? about a rivalry game and the fun about a rivalry game and, and just to get them here. Yeah, um, I mean, I would say, I mean, there's a lot of history with these with both of these two teams together. Um, you know, every time they match up, you know, it's, it's always going, you know, <clears throat> sorry, bring the city together. And, um, you know, I just think there's going to be a high level of competitiveness and energy on the floor with us. And I know with their team, with their coaching staff. So, I would just expect just a high level of competition, man, and just just so there's high energy. All of us flying around, playing hard for for you fans. So yeah. And then, and you personally, how how fun is it to be in those games like that? Like when, you know, you know, you got a rival on the court. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if if you were just playing street ball and, and yeah. you were playing up against a dude who had a reputation, and you guys are going at each other. You know. It's amazing. I mean, you live for those. I mean, it's college basketball. I mean, you know, it's 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 the most fun time of the year. Uh, just to play these type of games, these rivalry games, kind of bring it brings it back to high school and just you know the fun of it, just the joy of just playing against somebody who you really just want to beat and you know your rival. So I mean, it's it's amazing. I can't wait for the game on Saturday. Yeah. You've uh, your numbers have been fine scoring wise. Um, it doesn't seem like you've quite quite had that game yet where. Like you really took over long moments, and, and maybe you're more of a steady throughout the game kind of player. But do you feel like so far this season you've you've uh, quite got to where you thought you'd be? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, we we're three and zero, so I'm happy about that. I mean, it's a, it's a team, it's a team game, um, and you know, my my goal is to win games, um, and the individual stuff that's going to take care of itself. Um, you know, with the work I put in in the summer, so. Um, you know, this is exactly where I want to be, 3-0, and sitting here right here. What about as far as defensive, on the defensive side of things goes? Have you, you feel like you've been doing good defensively so far? How do you think I've been doing? <laughs> well, you guys are 3-0, and and if that's, uh, if that's what matters, that's mm -hmm. what matters. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the first two games, I think everybody kind of lacked defensively. Mm -hmm. I think on Tuesday night, I thought you guys all did just fine. For sure. I agree with you. I would say the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. I'm going to write it up then. For sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hey, Coach talked about social media being kind of a drug for younger people, and it can be kind of toxic, too. <laughs> for sure. I'm yeah. just curious, how do you approach social media? How do you view it? I mean, social media is a very prevalent thing in this generation and in our lives, and, you know, we can't ignore that. Um, but for me personally, I just try to take out the, you know, the, the pressure of it and just uh, – you know, I, I, I have Instagram, I have, you know, all those uh, Snapchat and stuff like that. But I mean, it, it can be overwhelming at, at some points. And I, sometimes like, I just step away, get get my take off, you know, lock my phone away somewhere. But I mean, it's just, you know, I do a lot of writing, a lot of writing just to get off the phone and get off social media. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really take in much consideration with social media. Like, it's not really that big of a deal for me. Is, is it hard not to respond to some of that stuff you, you see on there? I wouldn't say it's hard. I would just say it's always there. And, you know, with our phones, is everything so easy, accessible with the internet. And so it's always there. I wouldn't say it's necessarily hard, but it's just trying to find a balance of, you know, too much of it and getting away from it and how much you let it affect your, your mental. So, What do you write about? Man, it's like, it's just... How I'm feeling, you know, when I wake up in the morning, um, I like to start my day off with gratitude, just thankful that I'm here and alive and um, being able to, you know, play the sport I love, being around great people. And, um, you know, I, so that's, you know, I just write about just things, how I'm feeling throughout the day and just um, affirmations and just my goals and all types of stuff. So just everything. With that, front court, with, that, with that front court like it is, I mean, like you and House, you all were carrying the load last year. How fun is that, man, to have like Josiah and Morris just doing their thing, you know, because it looked good. Yeah, man, they're great. They're great. I mean, they, they play hard. They're physical down there. They're big bodies. And, you know, they're going to they're gonna screen well. 
um, you know, I, they're a great addition to our team. And I knew that from the jump that they were going to be doing this and they'll, they'll continue to do this and with the work that they put in and, you know, and trust in their work. And, um, you know, they've been tremendous and I, I just love them so much and I'm thankful to have them on the team. Yeah.